Australia seek to work constructively with China. Shingayu. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albani vowed on Sunday to work constructively with China as the two countries seek to the ICY relation. He was speaking at the opening of the China International Import Expo CIIE in Shanghai on the first full day of high profile state visit to his country biggest partner. Constructive economic engagement between countries help to build relation that is why the government that I lead will continue to work constructively with China, Albani said in a speech. The Prime Minister will spend four days in China splitting his time between Shanghai and Beijing. It was the first such visit by an Australian leader in seven years with the two countries seeking to patch things up after diplomatic spark that affected billion of dollars in trade Albanese administration has sought more amicable ties with China, while also punish BACL less against Beijing's growing influence in the Pacific. The Prime Minister on Sunday said that development of the Asia-Pacific region was the lens through which we see so much after the future and the Australia relation with China is a key part of all this. He held a mature relation between Beijing and Canberra energized by the complementary nature of our economics. China Foreign Minister has said that Albanis would meet Chinese leader and have in a deep exchange of view on military issue as well on international and regional issue of common concern. A healthy and stable China-Australia relationship accords with the fundamental interests of the both countries and people said Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin. The Bohan is a stark shift is turned from three years ago when bilateral ties were in the deep freeze. China slipped punitive trips on a range Australian commodities on 2020 after Kinabra, then conservative government bear take against Huawei from 5G contract and called from investigation and to the origins of COVID-19. But under Albanese Labour's administration, those trips have been lifted and Beijing has also indicated it will abolish similar penalties on Australian wine. Major trades fair Albanese was among a handful of the head of state present at the opening of the CII, an event taught by Beijing on a platform for international economic cooperation through foreign business group have complained at the deals it generate less substance. Organizations say more than 3,400 exhibitors will participate in the 6th annual CIIE which run until Friday and is the first edition of fair to take place since China relaxed strict pandemic traveler control. It also comes as a foreign business confidence weakness in the world's second largest economy with the USA and European Chamber of Commerce warning in recent month that firms are increasingly look to move investment uh, away from China. Premier Li Cheng told Expo guest on Sunday that China was 
committed to opening up and increasing MRL at axis of international investor. China sincerely wish to work with other countries to meet each other, halfway and make uh, mature achievement on a grand stage of openness, Leah said at the opening of the expo. But Carlo Di Entra, Vice President of the European Union Chamber of Commerce in China, told reporter in Shanghai on Friday that the CIIE and its current from the smoke and mirror and it has become a political show that it is a distinguished is a trade fair he said EU chamber member had complained of logistical difficult and high cost of the participated in the fair while investors were largely from government department rather their potential buyer. The percentage of EU chamber member participating in the CIIE has fallen from 24% to 32% since the first year of the fair in 2018 according to survey results published by the group on Friday. Thank you.